So we're going to demonstrate us guided FNB of a pancreatic head mass. So this patient has a mass in the head of pancreas, has undergone metal stenting of the bile duct. So we are going to perform the EUS FNB today. So my scope is in the stomach and what you see on the screen. And uh, now you see I'm moving, advancing the scope towards gastric antrum. And I'm going to suction all the air out and then eventually intubate the pylorus. Okay. So I'm suctioning the air and then I intubated the pylorus. Now I'm in the duodenal bulb. Okay. Now what you immediately see is the head of pancreas structure and I'll use my cursor to point it out. Now this what you see on the screen is the head of pancreas. Okay. All right. So what you immediately see is a is a hyperechoic uh, well let's say a, a metal stent right there and I'm going to use the cursor to point it out. The metal stent is in the bile duct and uh, you can use the flow to show this is the pancreatic duct which also appears very prominent. There are a few vessels here. So we are going to characterize the mass in a second. So I'm going to use my now I'm in the apex of the duodenal bulb here. I'm going to use my big wheel towards me and actually also see a nice lymph node. Now this is uh, a portal lymph node here. I'll just show you on the screen right there. Okay. So now as we start the FNB of the mass, now we need to get a good position. So I'm going to move the scope back and forth, use my suction to take all the air out and do gentle clockwise, counterclockwise torque. Yeah, there you go. So now this is a reasonable position. My scope, uh, I can see the mass right here. And I'm going to start with first using Doppler to make sure there are no major blood vessel along the way as we get the FNB. And also what we need to do is to measure the size of this mass. So I'm going to freeze the image for a second. I'm going to use my cursor, oh, not cursor, I'll use my calipers here. Slightly starting from here, going all the way down. Then use another set of calipers and get the lateral dimensions. All right. So this is about 2.5 by 2.5, and this is corresponding to the size shown on the ultrasound. Okay. Picture? Yeah. All right. So now what we'll do is uh, let's go ahead and start with the F and B. I'm going to take out my cap. You can show that I'm going to remove the cap on the endoscope. And then uh, using uh, this needle right here, uh, we advance it across. We have our technician, Shailesh, who is going to help me with this case. And I, now here we go. Now, you know, always make sure that your dials are unlocked, OK? So just show the dials that they are unlocked. So as I push this out, right, and I'm going to screw the FNB needle. All right. Now what I want you to see is what you can show is now this is at one. Okay. So this is how much the stylet, uh, the, uh, the needle is going to come out of the scope. So I like to keep it at one, depending on the situation. And uh, <coughs> the next thing we do is basically pull the stylet out. I'm going to use the slow pull stylet technique today. For demonstration, I'm going to pull the stylet out slightly, and then I'm going to unscrew the needle right here, all right? And then I'm going to suction, and then I'm going to find my spot again. There we go. So I've suctioned out the air, and I'm now looking at the mass right in front of me. Right there is the mass, and uh, all right. So then I'm, what I do like to do is gently push the needle out. So you see on the top right hand of the screen, the needle is coming out, OK? So right there, the needle is coming out. I'm going to point it out for you. This is the needle, the bright echogenic needle, OK? What I generally like to do is keep the dials in a neutral position. I don't like to, uh, to use uh, the elevator of the needle, OK? And I'm going to use my suction to take all the air out. It's important as you do the, the FNA. And I'm going to torque the scope. I'll have my assistant hold the scope. Gloves. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to have my assistant hold the scope in a second. And then I'm going to gently, first again, we have to ensure there's no big blood vessel. And I'm confirming that. There are a few vessels, but that should be okay. All right. 
All right, so I've talked the scope, so I'm going to ask him to hold the scope for me. Can you show how he's holding the scope for me? So that the scope is in the talk position as I move my hand away from the scope. Okay, so my assistant is going to hold the scope in position, and then uh, we can switch back to the view to me. Yeah, this one. Okay, and then I'm going to advance my needle gently right there. So now I've got my position in place, but then I, we have lost the position. I'm going to talk again, and I'm going to push the big the scope in on the bulb so that it's sticking to the apex of the duodenum. In this case, I don't like to use the elevator. I'm going to use slight elevator, just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to advance the needle. And what I like to do is I like to jab it because, yeah, there you go. Hold it tight, scope. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to push the needle out. All right, again. Yeah. All right, so now we have the needle, and I'm going to push the stilet out, although it's on the edge of the periphery of the lesion, but we'll reposition it. And I push the uh, stilet out to clear the gas duodenal contents. And then I'm going to pull back gently. Well, no, yeah. Okay. In this case, I have to use the elevator. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to push it again, and then pull back gently. I'm going to use the fanning technique. I'm going to push it again. Show it here, right there. And I'm going to pull back. As so, what's important to demonstrate is that the uh, uh, our technician is going to pull the stellar out as I'm pushing the needle in, all right? Here we go. So I'm going to push it. And then he's going to pull it at the same time. So now here we go. I'm going to pull back the needle. What this does, it creates a slight negative suction, allowing the material to come inside, OK? And I'm going to do it again. So use my, yeah, there we go. It's a hard mass. I'm going to use my elevator again to pull it back a little bit. Pull back now. So now we're going to unscrew. Okay, good. Open this. Okay. So now you can uh, zoom the camera on this. Okay. Huh. So, so the assistant is going to express the 